32 traditional literary prisons, what we see as one of the best prisons for a lot of pirates. Um, maybe a failed prison for standout, depending on how you're looking at it. And for KVT, depending on how you're looking at it, it could be one of the worst prisons or it could have been average season, just one of those. And then same as other teams. I mean, Super Sport is one of the best seasons. Uh, and Eastern City is probably an average season because looking at last season, I think they were number number two, number three, number two, probably taken. My mom is take work. But yeah, I wanna, uh, uh, just another season, maybe a failed season for them. Uh, Kukune, one of the best seasons that they've had. They just played the Medbank Cup final. They lost to Orlando Pirates. Uh, congratulations to Orlando Pirates. Uh, yeah, and our, our other teams have, we have a new format now on, 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 on this show where it's, it's, you're going to have friend reactions, you're going to speak to agents, you're going to speak to on the administrators, <clears throat> referees as well. Um, yeah, so we took time now to just look at the market and look at how how other people are doing things. So we're like, okay, let's come up with something different. So a lot of you guys enjoy it. Let's hope you guys appreciate it. We're uh, gonna keep on chopping and changing just to be different. I mean, there's a lot of podcasts out there. There's a lot of or shows out there, so we don't want to be the same. On today's episode, uh, we're going to take over the 2022-2023 season uh, for Kaiser Chiefs. We're going to get the friend reaction. Uh, there's a big story. Uh, Ranga Kivava Zero. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, I can't call it a tug of war, but you know, you might go to Kaiser Chiefs. You might go to Yanga. You might go to the research day. So I interviewed his manager. Uh, we were supposed to do a Zoom, but because of his busy schedule and the load setting and everything, so couldn't find time to actually um, do it. So he sent through a voice note. So I'll play that for you as well. And yeah, that's it for this show, for this new format. Uh, you can't call it a first episode, it's a third episode, but a first episode of the new format. That's it. Welcome to my show. <laughs> Welcome to my support and my mind. So I said, uh, this is going to get right straight to it. Uh, some of you guys have uh, seen on, on, on social media, you guys want to be agents. Uh, there's a lot of questions surrounding agents. How do you, how do you become one? How do you, how do you uh, negotiate deals? What happens in that room? So I, so I, I, I made a way to speak to PNB Sports, which is a sports management company or agency that manages sports stars. Um, and this is what they had to say about how to run an agency and what they're about and what happens in the negotiation room. Good morning, my brother, Jilbe Mastermind. Um... Thank you very much for having me. What I can say for the first question is um, 
change sports is about uh, to to manage uh, quality young talent like a man and a female yeah i do have uh, that chance to 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 have that eyes to and uh, and i don't work alone i have uh, people around the uh, in africa in, in in europe as well i cooperate with them so chnb sport uh, they have a lot of um, partnership uh, collaborate with a lot of uh, agents as well where we 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 we, we work to to bring uh, the best of a uh, Young talent, and then uh, even though we're not player of the age of like Ranga Shiva Virotechi or the goalkeeper of uh, Polokwane City, or yeah, so that's the way it is. <clears throat> and I can say uh, I have a uh, total eight to nine players uh, on my table, so yeah, uh, that's the way it is. And then the company is still growing. It's not about to have a lot of players, but it's, uh, it's about to have a players who you can manage, who can get a job for them. So it's very important because having no, many players as well and, and it's, it give a headache because if you didn't get a job for them and then uh, you, you start in uh, having a, a problem. So yeah, so far so good. I'm pushing very hard and um, that's it, and I can say as well, uh, uh, TNB Sport Management started um, with Chris Matombo, former uh, Kaze Chief, uh, Chippa United player, who uh, I have that time as well. I was a former player as well. I was playing, yeah, but I didn't have a chance to play professional level in South Africa, but home and every cause I was playing. Uh, professional level there and at the age of 16 so i have the chance to and i was supposed to be going to belgium but uh, you know so here i got the opportunity to be going to malta then i got the injury and then uh, is there i, I send a chris matombo on my on my behalf then uh, everything started from then uh, after chris there's a uh, many players i sent to malta as well and then uh, send uh, one other uh, South African player to uh, Romania who call uh, Rakoti Rehabito, former Free State Stars player. And then, yeah, things started for like that. That's the way until now. Yeah, thank you. To say, assess the players uh, in terms of I go scout, you know, I go around, I go scout. Uh, when I, I mean around, I travel a lot. Uh, I go left and right. I travel at uh, to different province to to watch players. And uh, when I had this, at certain time, some people can can invite me for to come and watch. Even though I watch NFD most of the games, to see what you can have if the players free don't have agents. Then yeah, that's the way it's and then yeah. That's always, and then uh, uh, the process process of uh, to be managed by by me or by the agency uh, is not a hundred process. It's about uh, if the talent is there, then it come easy. But if when the talent is not there, you know, it has a lot of commitment. So uh, there's a lot of work to do, and uh, you know, certain players, some. They are born with the talent. Some they are not born with the talent. They need to have it the hard way. They need to work very hard, and they need to and you need you need to uh, to support those kind of players to be there to 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 be there for him mentally, uh, you know, morally to be to be talking to him to to boost his confidence, to boost his moral to know hey football don't come easy if you want to make it. You need to work very hard. You need to correct your mistake before to shine. So that's the way. It is. Then, uh, and when I see the player mentally, the character is is, is ready. He can he can he can be some. Uh, he can have a, if he have a chance. He can be those kind of explosive player, quality player. Why not? Then it happened. I signed certain player in ABC Mosepe. So yeah.
that's the way it is, you know, that's all. Shout out to, to CNB Sports uh, for sharing that information. I hope you guys will learn or you will learn from it. Now, continuing from speaking of CNB Sports, speaking of CNB Sports, uh, a big story uh, broke out uh, sometime last week uh, about Langa Chibaba Zero. He's been one of the standout performers in 2022 and 2023 season. So there was a story that he signed a pre contract with uh, Mr. Bay. And there's a story that Zanga uh, are, are on the hunt for his signature. And, and that say the key and looking to sign him. Is that true? Excuse me, contact or is this wrong? Is Ranga willing to go to save with you? What does his agent say? Yeah, thank you very much for the, the fourth question. And I can say if he, if he Ranga, like I said earlier on, uh, I met Ranga Shivaviro when um, he, he was in VFA, uh, Venda Football Academy. And then I was invited by my, my friend who was working in the club. And then uh, he said, no, come and watch. I have a very good striker for you. You don't have agents. Then he's there. I said, I said no, okay, it's fine. I come and watch the game. I saw the quality that he didn't score. But uh, I saw it uh, in terms of um, as myself. Uh, I'm a former, former striker. So I, have, I, see, I see the quality straight away how he can control the ball, first touch, even the 1v1, how dangerous he is. And, and even though that day, like I said, he didn't score, but you know, you can see, you no, know, he have there's a, something great in this player, no, why not? He deserves chances. Even um, from there now, when in the season, I mean, I'm talking about the season of last season, 2021-2022. Uh, so from then now, and uh, we, we exchanged numbers and we started talking and I told him my vision. My vision, first of all, with him, I was about to take him to abroad straight away because I see the quality, I saw his videos and uh, I see, hey, you know what, brother, you know what, you deserve to play in Malaysia or you deserve to play in Indonesia or you deserve to play in Saudi Arabia or uh, Dubai or Qatar or those fed division. So that was uh, the goal, first of all, for me to... To, 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 for him in terms of, hey, you have the quality. So I started sending his profile to people, my contacts, left and right center, and you know, all the over the world. Then, um, yeah, actually, so I saw interest on in, in one club in, in Indonesia who showed interest on him. They was proposing a, a 7,000 US dollars net uh, for one year contract, that's mean 70,000 net. And then we, I, the things was delayed and uh, then I proposed him to Marisberg. I call uh, Chairman Farouk Kajura away uh, because I do work with him in terms of Sanya Shifares there. Uh, so I called him and said, No, Chairman, I have a quality player for you. And then he said, No, I need a big name. I need the, uh, send me the profile, I send his check, the strategic. He said, No, he did just score a lot of goals. Uh, if you VFA, blah, blah, blah. So I said, No, okay, it's fine. Then, uh, but okay, Roman for sign if you marumo, then uh, then uh, uh, I get in touch with the agent of uh, Roman Foles, and then uh, then I, say, I was in touch with Foles as well. He said, "No, bring the player." Then that's the way things happen, and uh, we started working uh, last year. Uh, last year we we have a, a three years contract together. We it was the last year everything started. Uh, I can say like it just this time. Uh, we, we we started things together. I give him mandate. When I give him mandate, then uh, um, uh, then uh, I start working with him. So yeah, for now we thanks God. You know, for him to be hot and uh, and uh, to be to be hot player in the market is about it's a grace. It's a grace of God. You know, it's a grace. Uh, I, I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. I pray a lot. I pray a lot uh, for that. Uh, I can lie for you, especially midnight prayer. I mean, those kind of person uh, who don't sleep, even though I uh, have a chance to, to work with a player who, who, who believe God, who believe Jesus Christ, and, and he pray himself as well as a prayerful person. 
So those kind of things will help a lot and uh, make uh, God facilitate a lot of things for us. I can say whatever has happened is a testimony, is a testimony uh, in terms of uh, a player uh, uh, last season who, who, who didn't even though reach five goals and uh, this season 17 goals, all competition. So you must know it's a grace. And uh, when um, uh, one thing I know through Bible, he say when he, there's a one, two, three uh, son of God, uh, child of God, uh, they are together. Uh, <laughs> there's a blessing to follow. There's a grace to follow. There's a favor follows. So that's what is happening to 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 us, me and Ranga. So far, we uh, we are just enjoy uh, the favor of God. That's what I can say. And um, and uh, what I can say about Ranga Shiva Viro is a uh, he have a lot of respect. He's a macho person. He, uh, discipline wise, uh, top. Uh, no. <laughs> You know, he respect he respect me, he respect a lot, he, he, I respect him as well. The things was, uh, we we are very connected and in a way of special in a way of uh, uh, God, you know, in a way of uh, we, we 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 are prayerful person. So uh, whatever come, even though like a problem, even though like at the beginning of the season it was no plan, you know. But we we do what we we know. We say no, you know, what, hey, Ranga, you know, don't give up. Let's keep you pray, you know, just, just when you have a time of the game, uh, the, the, the first game he played was in the group against Rahab. Uh, he was not, a, when he gets in, but, uh, you know, he was not that one. But I said, no, my brother, no, you don't need to give up. Uh, we, we must keep keep on. Your chance will come the day they make a mistake again, bring you in, just show them you are the best. So Coach, uh, Coach Roman Falls, uh, who are, are saluting the passage, uh, because of him today as well, they are talking about Ranga because he give a chance, and at, um, through your, ch- your 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 channel, I'm saying thank you to him because uh, he he helped us a lot. And uh, could Dan come in? Then when Dan come, then um, uh, you know chances coming from the Captain City game, everything started from there. So it was a wonderful one, uh, and then from there we start. You know, like I say, everything is about prayer. Everything is about we are very connected. Each game you talk, each game you spoke, each game you need to correct things. Hey, you know what, brother? You know you supposed to be do like this, supposed to do like it. No, next time on training you need to be. So we, we, you know, we are there. We are connected, very connected in terms of advice each other. You know, it's not it's not only about agent and like player. It's about uh, brothers. We are like a brotherhood. You know, we are very connected. That's what I can say in, in a good way. So yeah, that's the way. Regarding the question of uh, pre contact uh, Richard uh, for the club of Richards Bay, you know, I don't want to talk too much about it. I'm I read a lot, as I hear a lot, and. Um, uh, I respect, like I say, I respect most of the chairmen, all the chairmen of clubs. They are like a, a father to, 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 to me personally. And then I respect everybody. And then uh, uh, that's the way it is. Uh, I can say for now, regarding uh, pre contract or whatever, I'm not committing in or comment about it. Uh, Richard's base. Is a club uh, I respect a lot, and then um, the chairman is, is one of my my big fan. Uh, uh, since they are in the NFD, we uh, I support them, and then um, when they come to PSL, so it's a club I love to work with. It. And so yeah, like I say, I work with it. Polo Kwane City. I bring, I give them a quality player, the goalkeepers, so Emmanuel Sapuga, we win. First season in the NFD and in the uh, Mosepe Championship, and he win it. So that's the way. Is, uh, I'm very open to it. all the chairmen, all the all the all the director sport or coaches or whatever. I'm very open. I'm very uh, respectful. I'm very I respect everyone. So in terms of pre-contact, yeah, I'm not going to comment it too much. 
I'm not going to say a lot. I can say I respect a lot. All the clubs, all the clubs, all the clubs. Even though I was a general manager of a ABC Mosepe club, a Rastamba football club in Northwest. So I know what I'm talking about. So I don't, I'm not going to comment about it this too much. Uh, transfer window is going to be open soon. We, uh, like you, you, you said, like you asked before, many clubs, they are coming around. So we'll, we'll see what is going to happen. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for discussion. Uh, I know I am expecting the question as well. <laughs> uh, as I'm talking to you, um, uh, I'm not I'm not in Joburg, and, and I heard about it. Uh, many people called about it as well. Many journalists. But what I can say is, um, yes, uh, we. we uh, I receive a calls, I receive a messages, and then uh, why not? Kaze chief, no one can refuse Kaze chief. No one can be closed the door for Kaze chief. Uh, it's a big, uh, big, big club in South Africa. One of a big club, uh, one of a, a, a reference of uh, South African football. So we we respect them. We respect. Uh, 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 how big the club is, and then and, and, uh, it's a dream, and it's, it's a dream for any players in South Africa, in Africa, or uh, in in Europe, or in America, or in, in, in uh, uh, South America or North America, uh, to come and play for the, for 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 such big club we call uh, uh, Kaze Chief. So. Uh, the approach, but uh, nothing is materialized, nothing is done. We just have been touched to check what is happening around the player. So yeah, that's all. Uh, like I said, transfer window is not open yet. It's going to be open on June, um, on uh, uh, July, sorry, 1st July. Uh, so yeah, we, we are going to see what is going to be happening around. And then, yeah, the, like you can see, um, uh, my player now is about the holiday. He must focus, and and I need to be to be busy around and I see what to do. And like you must know as well, he's not the holiday player. Uh, still busy working on a certain players as well. So yeah, that is it. That is it so far. So uh, what I can say, uh, we'll see. The future will tell us uh, if he is going to be Kazachif or if he's going to be. Uh, uh, any club in, in maybe Tanzania because I can say the, the biggest clubs, Tanzania club, the three clubs, they, they approach Simba, Azam, Yanga, um, two clubs already, they make the wonderful uh, offers and, and uh, we, 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 we analyze it to see which one is better for, for the player because it's not just uh, to, to accept any offer, like I can say, I received an offer as well only yesterday as well from a club in, in, in uh, Libya. It's talking about something like a three million rounds for, but it's not what we are looking for. We know what we are the target. We know what we are looking for. Me and the player we spoke, we know uh, exactly uh, the barem what we are we are targeting. So uh, you must know the player as a thirty years old. He deserves to have to secure his family. He need to secure. Uh, everything in terms of uh, after his career, what he have like a property, what he have like a business, or what he have like okay football money, give me one, two, three, four things. So yeah, that's it. That's the way things is. Even though um, I'm receiving a call from Qatar, I'm receiving a call from um, Saudi Arabia, I'm receiving a call from uh, UAE, Dubai, and then even though uh, 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 like I say uh, about uh, Indonesia earlier on. Uh, I do receive a call from uh, my partner who say no, hey, they are talking about the player, even though South Korea, I do have a contact in Egypt as well. I have my partner, Egyptian, I work in a fee, who called me, who told me about the certain clubs. So we, 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 we are, it's not about only Kazakh, but it's about how, how far he, the, whatever he did in during the, 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 especially CAF Confederation is what is making things 
more bigger way clubs i'm not sleeping you can't sleep because you come in a situation where you need to move around you need to make sure before make any decision you need to to think twice and then and, and it must be right decision for the player actually i don't decide alone i consider the player we talk i consider the player the player need to talk to his family even though my side, yeah, I have my people as well. We, we talk a lot, we advise. So it's not about only uh, about me or uh, about the player, but it's about uh, a team. We are a team. We, are, we, are, we, we have a strong, uh, strong, strong team where we are working very hard to make sure yeah, whatever I have, like a player around, around on, on my table, I need to be very happy. That's the way it is. Thank you. With 19 goals in 30 games in the 2023 season. Uh, arguably, it's the best season for, for Rana, Zero, Zero, uh, as you heard from the agent. If it is my contact, uh, nothing has been considered by the time this is released. Is nothing yet. We don't know if there's an update yet. But the time we recorded this, uh, there was no update from him. Uh, so we don't know if there's any update, but if the deal could have been signed. And then in terms of the pre contract as well, you heard from him. He doesn't want to comment on it because, I mean, the season is, uh, the season is over, but the transfer window is only going to open on the 1st of July. But right now, teams are trying to secure deals as, as early as possible so that they can start pre-season early. So, Hey, by the time we release this, Ranga could be a favorite player, could be a Richard Bay player, or it could be a younger player. Yeah. So when I call a signal of favorite, some people say uh, this is, is in the West is in continuity. And I took liberty to ask questions, to ask different you know, supporters about how do they feel about the coach, Atazuano Mangete, and do they feel there was a deep building phase? What went wrong this season? And what's the overall feeling in terms of the management, you know, thinking of lifting up the physical team? And which players do they think can come through for physical? Listen to different players. Yeah, I know. Um... My uh, summary, Yagazwani, for this season. Uh, I think looking at what he said um, when he first took over the position, you know, the guy had a plan on how he wanted this team to play. You know, he knew exactly what he wanted. You know, I think it's just unfortunate that maybe he didn't get all the material that was that he needed actually to implement what he wanted. I mean, if you can check. The first, uh, maybe 15 games, if I can put it that way, you know, you, you remember the first game we played against Royal AM, you know, you look at how Chiefs was playing there, you could see what uh, we're trying to do there, you know, we're playing great, we're uh, trying to start playing from the back, building from the back, you know, but unfortunately, if you look, it defends, you know, yeah, your team, let, the, let Uzwane down let the technical team down you know every time we started to, to build from the back you know we're having all those uh, unnecessary mistakes and then we would concede you know hence we considered a lot of goals this season and uh, looking at how Zwane wanted the team to play you know it was basis was mostly from starting from the back you know good you know basically if i can put it that way and uh, it couldn't work out because of the mistakes that we made you know and you know trying to uh, play from the back and then uh, yeah, with the pressure now, you know, from coming from us supporters wanting the results, you know, he had to resort to his plan B. You know, if you can check, in most cases now, towards uh, the end of the season, you know, where to play now, draw Ama opposition defenders, you know, try to play Ebola behind them, you know, and for Utu Priest to run, for Rusali Yide to run, you know, and uh, I, I think we benefited a lot. You know, from that, you know, from Guma runs, especially to pre, you know, running behind our defenders um, with that pace. I don't think there's any defender that can catch him, 
Udupri uh, when it comes to pace. It worked for us, you know. And then towards the end of the season, uh, I think we got caught out. You know, teams knew how we're playing now. That is why most teams were now packing the pass, you know, sitting back, you know, not opening that space for Dupri to play. So it was getting difficult for us. So we probably maybe didn't have a plan C. But for me, now I think we just didn't have enough quality, you know, in the team, as most people were new, you know, in the team. And uh, like I said before, I think uh, for Mangeta, all in all, you know, I think if he was coaching any other team except Kaiser Chiefs, you know, um, he probably maybe would have been a contender for a coach of the season, you know, because looking at the resources that he had and looking at what he did with the small resources that he had, you know, he he, he did well. You know, it's just unfortunate that he was coaching Kaiser Chiefs. There's too much pressure there, you know. So, yeah, he, l- l- like I usually say, Mina for Mina, I think he, he management here too, um, for, for me now it, uh, it, it kind of failed him a bit you know because if you, you look even go January transfer window we didn't sign the players that we needed you know we, we, we lost a vital vital player in uh, Unjabulo Plong we, we, we couldn't replace him you know so those are the things that I'm really complaining about but looking at Iplaniake what he wanted to execute he, he didn't have enough tools to actually execute that so now um come new season you know i i think we, they just need to get him the players that he need you know i've got no doubt in my mind which if he can have all the material that he needs he's definitely going to play the kind of football that he wants was he, he obviously wants to play enterprising football starting from the back but unfortunately he couldn't do that with the players that he had you know so yeah for me now i it, it lies to management it lies to management Uzoane, because now they go even if they can fire him and get another coach, you know, if we still don't get the material that is fit enough, you know, for this big pedigree, it's now as the Kaiser Chiefs. I, I think we're still going to to fail, to fail, you know, unfortunately. You know, we just need to get Kaiser Chiefs type of players. And we haven't been getting Kaiser Chiefs type of... We only sign one or two great players, you know, like about Doli or Billiard. Maybe in one transfer window, would sign one or two very, very good players, and then the rest would just be ordinary. It doesn't have to be like that, you know. There's a lot of uh, ordinary players now in the team because we're signing a lot of them, you know, on, and only a few quality players. And those two few quality players, they don't really make the starting 11. You know, out of 11, you have about three or four, you know, um, very good uh, quality players. And it won't work for a big team like a Kaiser Chief. So for Bina, I think it just goes with e, e management, you know. But also, I wish him well, and I just wish that he gets the material that he needs because uh, you can see what he wants to do. You know, he just it's just unfortunate that he doesn't have the material that he needs. Thank you, course. So, so my course thing, I've been a little lap on my loose canyons alone, banging KZN. Yeah, I'm sure you're ugly and you're a comment, but no one is in a CPL. Almost 85% we first eleven because we are about to start our the coach is in charge of coaching. We are going assistant coach at that zone. Yeah, we are going to start the pirates. Pirates, ah, because we are going to start our ball. Yeah, and we are going to start our ball. We are experience. We are going Mostly, I'm just learning. La, I'm a soil development. Abo shabala la ozwane otuba ya kwa intuana intuana juu abo nti ya intuana ozwane juu le kime santa nzi ya wanil kuwa bo wa shasa shala pa wuguti kashe kashe umnani usemnani amfana ozwane usemnani se intuana juu nani ilo kuchinga kashe kashe kote masnga masnga abo nji manga sasa nti mshambe aro hundred percent Ah, uh, 
but Bawazi Bawazi would be a top four. I shall have a very careful start to top four because Lamama games up to now too. Very normally, it chiefs. Ah, if I'm still who are winning, it's got a jay. Go, go, I'm a certain number five. Go to ya with top four. If you feel you can say, I can see found it with top four. This is Naki Kaluzan. Now, about that back of Fusaba Ning. I be experienced kakhulu abadlanje besinabo abe ne experience u kick and dole ule u itimele ngikhune kama billiards eric matsoho abokhola alexander odwa manje ba ba yabona ukuthi akubona abantu ebebedlala almost every game u kama billiards walimala Kicking to Lali Malang is cut, Silap of Velis Sism Tinga Corners, the Savi semi final pirates, of which Lam Yakabang was Uba and Shampo Agali Malang, Abbas Kumunu Tabamand, Ogun your foot, Finish with Kumbul with Epola, Umjar went and Shagas. Go my mamma came the maning, the chiefs. In the ends, the gilding is basically short and unchanged. In charge, it will be we short. I'm bad at my games. Like, I'm not so good. Good side. I'm bad at it. 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 I'm Kasha shwa fali chipsi wine la pan. Mani nje ma games nga wabala nge se shawe nita anja. Sine espe mkutu kaku ngotwa. Ne management. Yo na e tandu usi po kla kashe kashe ngoba. Yo na fwenle iti ngele uzo ane abadlala aba ne experience na abadlali. O aba o aba funo ye na ngo. Nge skali nge coach ikbe ni na ya abadlali nge na abo gashi. Mbunga shunga miza mpuno 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 kutu. Ifa ba jala ba rai tunga ina ba shufo lo liku na inje lufungu jala nga ayo. Nga ya kwenze ke lutu. Kashi ashe jichif si tinga. Aba jali. Ayo kutu ba ba kona. Ba ya peta pat. Dinu tis eta ba jali solitetu. Wazu tumu kipa lo ufara lo. Ayo kutu maglima la lo. Kwa buwa kwa lima lu ngobo. Ih kwa vulegi skali skulu. Nak kau kip kau kip pas naik kan sih, kau kip pas mana eng bonus unggah nukla bawa kau na itu melayang kau na. Of which na usah cek bawa usah kalau mta lo tak kau na leh cek aku tu mta li lah kalau kau na. Kau kau kip pas vela masa benua thirty five thirty thirty three lah thirty four lah. Masa kasih masa di lower thirty lah esu esu kau na sepika kau na kan sih kan sih. Oh tenji. I team Jonas Nakala sits I are a Sinzanga Solana Cup court. Yeah, we progress. We are born a fan. You know, no Ziva with Lali Polyras, no Ziva with Lali Davinda. Get fan of my swinger before we swinger. Unga born goes to swinger and Jani. Shower roots on football. Ah, no grams and bonus. I see in Hamburger. I management okay, ne sekarang tu mereka berfungsi untuk bawa nang transfer bazo, bawa bawa ni untuk short up, so so fener belum selapu. Jangan mana anje, sesi nak alat sini, sesi mchampe, sesi silinda, sesi ni zayo, mchampe, first round dia kau, nasi nak alat agus caca, good say, kuham bagan jan. Kau tu nak kau nasi tu caca, if lepas jalan lepas abah funa uzan, uya batola, nang lepas abah funa abah sesi main uya batola, ingeng baba dah makam, muda banye. In the bag, can some can some ayo ah leo snake play management. If you just come and see the gafunu, they say about the chiefs. The management taking thing I end the yeah. Got on the same shoes now, but got again. Yeah, funny bizarre mo chun yung guti ba 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 ng ukot mam sees eh mam sees injero mam sees ng ako sumisang rabat rabat ba funa ng abo ng makos. Show makos, show makos. Um. Mastermind, let's wrap up the, the season. The season is finished. Uh, I so wish Skukuna wins. I don't care about Kodos. Kodos is the only one who will be nyep nyeping rather than the millions of Bacaneas. Anyway, back to our topic at hand. Kaiser Chiefs' season. Um, 
mixed feelings uh, mixed emotions same as uh, mixed results we got throughout the, the season i would say it was a good season for umangete and management uh, and the bad season for supporters Uh, yeah, that will sound like uh, very controversial. Firstly, a good a good season for Umangete and management. Based on these factors, it's a it's a, it's a new project. Let's forget about the past seasons where we won nothing. But they they they, they developed a new project, uh, a new young coach. Uh, started the season with no starting 11, even a starting 8, like other teams, they, they had that. New players, uh, trying new combination. From game one against, uh, I think it was Royal AM, they lost 1-0, they played beautiful football. They we picked up a lot of positives the major negative was we didn't have strikers uh, injuries to the strikers especially to priests being new to the team also and getting injured uh, uh, i think he came from sterling porch with an, an injury so he was sad line uh Billiard was the main striker so it was always going to be a problem scoring goals but they manage you know there were a couple of good wins on the trot um as the season progressed then we started seeing cracks especially with the game where uh, against the sundowns where we lost four nil we started seeing cracks at the back that our defense is very shaky and erratic. Gazzane in particular that day was the main man. Uh, I don't remember if it was Kone in, in, in goals uh, or Voma, but yeah, one of those goalkeepers. But uh, the major contributor was uh, Ungezane. Tried new combinations, Ngezane, Kweneka, Kweneka, Dove, and you know, those, the, the, that was our major, major weakness throughout the season, the defense. Top it up, the goalkeepers. Not only Peterson, but all the goalkeepers that were given chance, they let us down, even Kune himself you know um so uh, that's why i say it was a good season for zwane and management in terms of they learned that this project needs this and this and this this is what we have available on hand uh, going forward we need to beef it up like this and this and this and this and this which i think which is now they are busy with Throughout the season, they did show the indication of strengthening the squad. Good signing on the clock, good signing on uh, um, Msimang. I believe Mdanzane also is coming on board. Uh, a few youngsters are going to be promoted. Kumete and uh, uh, forget the young one uh, from under 17. Um, Fundo, I think, also will be there you know maybe Titejane or the other ones so there will be good youngsters that are going to be promoted uh we didn't have a, a central midfielder so yeah it was good season for the Zwane and management in in a sense that they could identify where the team was lacking it was good for them because you know the 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 the, the, the signs of good football are there 
we 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 spend a lot of our times attacking a lot of our times in the 18 areas which led to towards the season where we had red cards back to back every game penalties every game i think we had six consecutive game or eight consecutive games with penalties and red cards which was good it shows the the the, the attacking strength that the team possessed we had to get to Binemnyama, uh, I think after five games or so, he became the main striker. He showed a glimpse of being bully, but it faded as soon as he started scoring penalties, then it faded. Injured, you know, those are key players. You, 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 you're sort of depend on those players so we lost those players uh saile came in he showed a glimpse of being a good footballer but you know there the, the isn't so there wasn't so much cohesion between the players you know you needed a dolly now and then but the dolly was not a dolly that we know um so it, it, it was it was really good in, identifi- in, in the identifying where you need to strengthen up. It was good that you, you could see the direction, the football direction that the team is, ta- is taking. So, yeah, but disappointing, uh, especially with the net bank. I was very disappointed with what they did at Chatsworth when they won against the Royal AM. Uh, they shouldn't have celebrated like they did. That was a case on its own. Uh, losing to Pirates was a bitter pill to swallow because we were all over Pirates. Uh, Sayele should have won the game in the first 20 minutes or so. So we lost that one. But yeah, it's no good cry- crying over the spilt milk. Uh, now they must just buy few good quality players. The defense, I think, is almost sorted. A goalkeeper, we need a goalkeeper as well. Two good strikers, two possible central midfielders, you know, and a left back because Chanti uh, is also letting us down. So, yeah, uh, I, I've, I've, I've always been from the beginning of a season or from the beginning of his appointment a big fan of Umangete. So, I don't regret that he's been kept. Um, yeah. Looking forward to the new season and looking forward to the new signings. Um, Every day I wake up and thinking, okay, there will be this news and this news. And I hate this speculation. Um, I'm not disappointed if it's true that they rejected Dufisto's Mayela or Mabat. I'm not a fan of him. I'm really not a fan of him. I've looked at his stats as well. I think he only has eight goals in... 20 something games uh, for the national team. And that's not a quality striker for me. And also, Tanzanian football. No, man, you can't really compare to uh, South African football. Uh, it's just that Tanzanians people, they love their football and they support their football. And that's why they, you feel so intimidated when you play against them. You know your Simbas, your, your, your young what of young Africans. So, but I'm not disappointed with him. There should be some good strikers out there that we're gonna get. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to hear from tomorrow onwards that there is somebody who's been signed and all, all, all and all that. Guys. Uh, it's, I, I'm, I'm a bit busy, but let me tell you something, and, and it's, it's, it's supposed to be clear to everybody. You cannot compare a, a squad, say, Pirates and Chiefs. A squad, say, Pirates, you have experienced players, quality players. In fact, a Pirates should have been not number two, number one. A, a, they should have been on par with the sundowns you know but 
they flopped because there's too much politics within the team. And their coach, as you must mind alluded earlier on, is very experienced. Is not just a, like Uzuan. Uzuan is 40 something. That coach is 50, whatever. With a pedigree from Germany or wherever he comes from. But the, 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 the thing is the depth within the Pirates. If you look at Chukamanja or Zukamanja, he only started playing now, 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 recently. But he's always been there. There is Umonari, there is Ubatswari, there is Umakaring. The, the, I'm just talking about the middle field alone. And when it comes to Chiefs, we're talking about Abantu who just came in, who doesn't have any experience. So you cannot compare the two. You cannot really compare the two. But Chiefs did what? A, a, a triple against the Pirates this season. They beat the Pirates left, right, and center until in Edmund Cup, which was a pure chief's fault for celebrating too early. So you cannot really compare the two. Uh, you, you have said it well, Kosi. Pirates coach have experience. Why would Chiefs take a coach with no experience? Because literally that's what you're saying, that Zwane has no experience. Isn't that what you're saying? Why would they take a coach with no experience put him with players who also have no experience how does that even make sense because no you're talking about uh, pirates players who have experience who what what i mean how how can we release so many players without a plan look now we, we released uh, for example we released unukovic because of the way he plays but we go back and play that helicopter football you know mastermind said we had no depth or not, what, what, what. So we were forced to play that football. Because honestly, this season, I have not seen that style of play. The culture that Kaiser Chiefs once had, I have not seen it this season, you know. But, you know, if we had maybe Unukovic that we released, because we know it's good when it comes to helicopter football. But we want to play helicopter football with ball playing players. How is that? gonna work for us you know i i, I respect your opinions because yeah that's how i see it my bro you're missing the whole point we've done that for the last six seasons and it hasn't worked that's why we started rebuilding to identify to find the style of play and that's why we've been mixing and chopping the style that we're playing and that's why we didn't buy the so-called big name strikers because we lost the direction the last season the last past seasons so this time and that's why there are this assessment and what and what and what. You just don't you don't just come for trials and then you you, you got you get a contract. It's a long process, and unfortunately, it's it, it's hurting because we expect to win a trophy. If if we we won against the Pirates, probably we would have won against the Skokone because it, it would have been a crash mesh. We wouldn't be talking like we're talking now. You know, so we are a rebuilding. Let's just appreciate what has been done because there's a lot of positives that we came through. Unfortunately, we tend to be scoreboard supporters. We just want to see the scoreboard saying 3 1, Chiefs 3, and whatever 1, and next game, Chiefs 4, and whatever 0. It, it's not going to work like that until the team is stabilized because we don't have a team we didn't have a team this season we didn't have but now what we have is a framework then we can work from there okay i hear you because now i don't have a problem with zwani and i'm much up with giving zwani a chance this coming season 
to showcase what he can bring for us. You know, I also understand the building part, but you can't tell me about chances created without scoring. You know, if Kaiser Chiefs have signed better players instead of going and trialing players i mean if you trial a player you need that player comes to trials you you can just see the the the, the, the. come on you know we, we had to buy a striker a striker that's already being established you know now they are busy chasing fiston mael you know th- that's the kind of player you know the the the, the marumo Galans player ranga you, you understand those those are things that kesa chiefs must have done you know, we could have done better. The problem is, so the players have done well this season. They've tried, actually. But there's no style of play. We have no direction. We're just a team that's playing, that's creating chances. But what's that? Okay, yeah, I I, I get you now. It's just because, man, this, this thing of not getting happiness as supporters sometimes is draining. Yo, like... One cup here and Jay would do, man. Ay, 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 ay. But then, yeah, it's our team and we love it. We, we're going to support it no matter what. Through thick and thin, we are there, you know. So, whatever happens, we'll see what plans the management have. Then, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Supporters have said a mouthful. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, um, uh, some of the points, I mean, they've got valid points. I mean, they, they, they take a lot of money buying merchandise and they go to the stadium. Some travel as far as Northwest, Dover, some from Cape Town to Johannesburg, to it's far. You know, spending their own money on petrol, spending their own money on food. Like, it's a lot that they've invested in the club. And, and yet, it's been eight years, eight years now. Uh, 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 I think they've seen West to be bad. That's just my personal opinion. They've seen West to be uh, whereby they, they win. I mean, I think that season, I think they were 20, I could be wrong, 2018, 2019, where they were out of the top eight. And when, uh, Position nine, and then they lost to CS Galaxy in the Net Bank Cup. I mean, what a West season that they really had. West season ever. Losing the Cup, and then the the run the top eight, you know, to try maybe and get a, 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 a Cup in the new season. I think that was the West <laughs> occasion. Okay, I think they changed coaches within six months to Colinas, and then I think Middendorf came. For the West season for Kaiser Chiefs. My take on Mangata, um, I think it should be given uh, a second season uh, and see what he can do in the second season. He said he has learned a lot. He was a novice coach, of course, uh, but a lot of supporters are angry. They want him out. The problem with that is why Kaiser Chiefs are there building. So if the management lets go of the coach and for example, they don't get a coach like Pito. The problem is a new coach, which probably was going to be a European coach, will come in with his own philosophy and he has to start from scratch, which means it's another rebuilding. You might need a cup. The problem is, say the people, the philosophy or the, the philosophy that they are trying to get back for, for a lack of a better word. It will be lost forever. Probably now it's left like 10% of it. It will be lost forever because now he will win. Yes, the supporters, will, the supporters will, will be happy, stand and everything. However, family, the thing is of the family. So, according to the report, the one let go of Zwane, yes, they might be, uh, 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 they might. They might add someone on that typical team, a striker's coach ahead. So let's wait and see. You know, let's wait and see. About on this show, we won't focus on KBC alone. Next week, we'll focus on Orlando Paris. Next year, 
from their supporters and we'll try and get one of the administrators to speak to the referee. But yeah, look out for look out for the new episodes of Master Sports. It's been great. It's been amazing. It's good to be back. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to interacting you guys on social media and and, and, and on YouTube, man. Come on, subscribe, man. Subscribe, like, share, comment. I mean, the more comments uh, uh, come through with, with ideas and suggestions, the WhatsApp can be. Yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Catch you next week. Thanks.